Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Old Bay. And today I'm looking at a few more Malibu Comics titles. Uh, this is Ultraverse. Ultraverse. Um, and recently I looked at a couple issues of Wrath and decided it's probably lousy. Like it's a bad comic. The other comic that uh, Malibu put out that I, I feel like is, like, is it worth reading? Is it worth opening? Was War Strike. Because Warstrike kind of just looks like a different version of Wrath. Um, he's a blonde dude in a red suit with big shoulder pads, same as Wrath. Um, his name starts with a W, same as Wrath. So he's in the back of the alphabetized box, like he should be. But um, I don't have near as many Warstrikes. I think I'd have Warstrike number seven is the one I found to take a look at. And we'll see if, I mean, we won't be able to tell maybe if the plot's more interesting. Uh, I would already say these panels look more interesting than anything that we were seeing with Wrath. Wrath being like this massive, like, ripoff type character. Now, I will say with Warstrike, we are already, we're, we're having a guest star already. Um, is this a guest star? Oh, I thought this was a guest star. Maybe it's not. I thought it was Mantra, but, uh, I think it's not. Could be like a necromantra mantra or something like that i can't this character looks familiar but i'm not sure who it is uh so we'll say it's not a guest star oh 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 we're having a collapse can't have that i mean they could they could damage the books that would kill their resale value they fell over if they got wrinkled how would i ever resell these for more than they're worth all right, his plot already looks more interesting. He's got more characters going on. Um, he has this girl whose face looks like it got slightly melted by like, like she's made of wax and it melted. I don't think that's how it's intended to look, but that is how it does look. But at least we've already got some more dynamic. You've got kids involved. Um, he's got a family. There's some redheaded lady trying to kill him. Um, this looks like a trial, so that's interesting. Um, and, oh, there, there's his rat suit. Or that is Wrath, or I thought we were, I thought that this dude was Wrath. Maybe it is. Maybe he's fighting himself. That's what, that's what I get the impression of. Alright, so, War Strike, or War Strike, sorry, I'm, I'm already inter interchanging the two. Um, I'm already feeling like War Strike is coming out looking better than Wrath already. We will see. We'll see. If I get some more issues of War Strike, um, we can see if he is as lame as Wrath or slightly more interesting. I feel like just from that, I feel slightly more interested. Um, these are Eliminators. Now, back when I was originally reading um, Malibu Ultraverse, I don't remember Eliminator. I don't remember these at all. 1995, so these would have came out after he was acquired by Marvel. So, or after the, the universe was acquired by Marvel. And I know I've, I bought these a while back and I've looked at them, but I, I can't remember a thing about them. Um, they feel like Marvel made. But it is hard to tell. That guy looks pretty shriveled. Nocturnals, Boxy McPuncher. All right, so if you have Siren in your book, that's pretty cool. Okay, so Siren is a, I don't remember seeing her in the Ultraverse until Marvel bought, her, bought them. And then you started seeing Siren appear. And I, I personally think this is one of the cooler designed female characters. She wears this cool like red jacket thing kind of looks like a Carmen San Diego outfit uh, with her white skin and red hair I just it's a cool design nothing flashy nothing nothing scanty it's it's just a well-designed uh, stylish outfit uh, I've always thought that and I have been appreciated by it I appreciate it um, there was a time when guys wore shirts that were cut off that low with her exposed midriff. However, I don't think it was 95. I think it was more like 85. I don't 
I don't think it lasted that long. And that guy looks like uh, Robot Superman, I guess. Brian vs. The Incredible Hulk. This is one of those uh, weird crossover books that happened when Marvel bought Malibu that I would actually love to read. I would love to find this. I have never seen it anywhere. Um, I've never thought to order it by itself off of eBay. It's just out there somewhere, and I don't, I never, like, look for it. Uh, if you want to go how crazy the crossovers got, there is Loki on the cover of Hard Case 23. And you have uh, bad, bad Girl, Bad Boy, Necromantra, and Lord Pumpkin. Lord Pumpkin is cool. And there is Loki also hanging out with Lord Pumpkin, which is um, a thing. Um, so we have Half-Naked Robot Guy, um, Cyborg, whatchamacallit uh, dude right there. Oh, for a second, I thought they were playing basketball with a head. I guess I should be trying to decide. Is this guy still wearing that same shirt? He should not be wearing that shirt. And look, Siren apparently wears this outfit even when she's not being a superhero. And I did not know her face was natural skin colored. I thought it was white. I would say all in all, these don't look terrible. They look like kind of like your average uh, 90s kind of lame comic book. But it does have neat, neat art and vibe to it. The pages are nice and slick. The book is well produced, at least. Uh, this guy is just now showing up. We just saw him last issue. I thought he was getting ready to go. Apparently he was getting ready the whole time. Another crossover I would love to see, Wolverine versus the Nightman. Of course, uh, that would be terrible for the Nightman who gets beat up by average, ordinary villains, let alone Wolverine, um, who, oh gosh, do you remember when Wolverine beat Lobo? What a bunch of crap that was. Totally impossible. Ridiculous Marvel versus DC tripe. Ask Diane. When heroes need heroes. Ultra Force, the comic book. Not to be confused with the soon to be released, soon to be canceled um, cartoon series. Oh, and I thought we'd give Wrath another try. So I found this giant sized Wrath. This is a later. I like this as much after, like later. And it's Wrath crossed over with War Strike. So I thought, you know what? Let's, uh, let's see if these two golden gems of heroes can be twins look oh, he changed his outfit like these used to be metal he probably changed his outfit just so he doesn't look just like war strike um and he changed his red shirt to a black shirt also to not look just like the other guy in this comic but just in case these two like powerhouses of comic book meat were not enough to get you to buy the book we threw in mantra too uh, just in case, just in case that would not push you over the top. Look at him, look at him. He's still doing that brood, sad, I'm wearing a brown trench coat, feeling lost in the mall look on his face. Okay, we have the real Wrath wearing his metal pads back. Uh, okay, the squad. I would, I would love to read The Squad. The Squad would be, like, actually a pretty sad comic. It was about a short-lived superhero team um, that did a lot of stuff. They fought a lot of bad guys until they ran into Enemy. Um, and Enemy is a big uh, nanotech mechanized entity that just wiped them out. Like, cleaned the floor with them. Looks like the green team is back. Of course, they're probably following Wrath wherever he goes. Um, Wrath is back to being dressed exactly like his buddy slash enemy Warstrike. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I need to feel anything about it. Um, Freaks. Freaks got good. Freaks was a good book. I had a... I had to highlight some Freaks comics because they were a pretty good comic book. Otherwise, this looks like your standard beefy 
red suit wearing blonde guy with a ponytail gunfire shootout times two. Pretty much normal. Yep. Yep. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. So that's what that is. I thought maybe this this special issue of Wrath would would kind of enhance my feelings towards him. Um, well, you waited till the last page to put a cool picture in here of a intriguing looking villain. You should have done that earlier. Oh, and there's an ad for the firearm movie, which I've never seen, but I should. It's on it's on YouTube. All right, so um, in the battle of lameness, I'm gonna say that uh, War Strike is cooler than Wrath. Wrath is not cool. He's going to receive my wrath, I believe, from now on. And um, like I said, if there's anybody out there who uh, knows anything more about wrath or if he's any good or not, let me know. I'm willing to listen. You can change my mind. Open it up to a debate. Until then, wrath sucks. That's my story. I will catch you guys later. Bye.